Tuesday, July 17th, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at some flooding phenomenon taking place in both the eastern and western hemispheres. We're going to start over here in Arizona, up in Flagstaff, about 7,000 feet above sea level, where a 100-year flooding event has occurred in the last 48 hours. I've got a video here from ABC 15 I want to share with you guys real quick. Set. There we go. Information this morning about the storm that hit Flagstaff on Sunday, causing a lot of flooding. Now, this video that you're seeing here is from flooding that happened just yesterday. But for Sunday's storm, the National Weather Service classifying the flooding as a 100-year event. Up to three inches of rain fell within an hour in some spots on Sunday. And as a result of all of that rain and the flooding that they've seen since, the Coconino County Emergency Management Department telling us they just installed more TV screens to better monitor the flooding and anything else that comes their way. The city of Flagstaff is offering sandbags to anyone who needs it. They'll provide the bags. Just bring a shovel and know that it's first come, first served. I've never seen a flood up in Flagstaff like that. Uh, some counts were saying up to three inches plus per hour. Um, and this was again over the weekend and some more rain occurred yesterday and more is forecast for this week. I don't know if it will bring yet another hundred year event but I saw cars, I don't know if it's in this uh, article here, I'll post the link to the article where it shows cars submerged underwater in Flagstaff, Arizona. Truly unbelievable. Much like this story out of Spain where a medio tsunami floods the islands <laughs> off of the southeastern coast of Spain. Let me take you to the area. This is it right here. Here it is on Google Earth. We go up and across the pond to the eastern hemisphere. And here we go. Right here, an eerie tsunami eased its way inland, covering a fairly significant area. This was on July 16th, 2018. A medio tsunami formed in the Mediterranean Sea near the coast of Spain. Early July 16th, 2018, flooded the coasts of Malaraca, Menorca, Spain's uh, Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean Sea. According to local media, a wave as high as five feet hit the islands during the early morning hours of July 16th. The wave hit numerous cities along the coasts of both islands. What they're talking about are these islands right here. I'm going to show you the videos now from the watchers.news. And you can see the water does cover a large area, and it's definitely not supposed to be there. So here goes video number one. Another look here. The guy in the city bus stopped to take a video. Couldn't believe what he was seeing either. Ricardito, mira arriba, ha sortit, se está inundat, a ver, vist, ara mateix jo i en Joan ho hem vist, que s'estava inundat, mira. Dios, però tot aquí de pa, i un pa més no ven que peu, mira ja. Dios, mira les barques. She's very surprised that the water Estan just, just. coming out of this marina. I això com és que fa bombolles aquí? Very surprised. Tsunami. So once again, the area is right here in the far western Mediterranean Sea. On a final, actually this is the second to the last story. This one was out here in Arizona, Maricopa County. Thousands of fish turn up dead in a Maricopa Lake, causing foul problems for nearby residents as the smell was absolutely overwhelming. 
and they'd never seen this before. And you don't really see this a whole lot out in Arizona, but um, it was a very significant event of a fish die off in Maricopa County, again on July 16th, much like the tsunami. Um, and a day after the flooding up in Flagstaff, not that they're related, but they occurred within uh, just a few hours of each other. Here's a report from Fox 10 Phoenix about the fish in Maricopa County. There were a lot, several thousand it looked like. This has to be an oxygen issue when it hits this many fish like this. We don't normally see this out in Arizona but I would think something that would take that many fish at the same time, I think they would run out of oxygen very, very quickly. I don't know if this video is going to play or not. I thought it would. We'll try it one more time. There we go. And let's give it a whirl. People in a community south of the valley are dealing with a smelly mess on Monday as thousands of fish turned up dead in, lake, in a lake in Maricopa. It's probably the uh, not the best for television as some of the residents at the Rancho El Dorado development in Maricopa are dealing with a huge floating mass of dead fish. It was a scary sight to see, said B. White, who lives in the area and had uh, never seen anything like it before. No one knows what led to the mass death, and the city officials of Maricopa say uh, since it happened on private property, they are not involved. So there's some pictures here at this link I'll post below in the description box. Maybe you can get the video to, uh, to play. It was playing earlier. Don't know why it's not going to play now, but it's just a basic recap of what I just told you with some more pictures and video footage of the lake. And you can see literally thousands of fish floating at the top of this lake in Maricopa. Flooding in Seminole County, Florida is improving. And here's a quick video here of those improvements. Hi, I'm Samantha from the Seminole County Office of Emergency Management, and I'm here to give an update about the flooding around Seminole County. At this time, the floodwaters are receding, however, this is a slow process, and any rainfall we receive throughout the week could impact that progress. Lake Harney is forecast to fall below minor flood stage by the end of the weekend, and the river gauge at the St. John's River in Lake Monroe in Sanford is still at action stage. Boat ramps are still closed at Malt Lake Park and Wayside Park. However, Leisure Services is checking them daily to see if we can open them as soon as possible. Sandbags are still available for residents along the St. John's River at Fort Lane Park to help assist them in protecting their homes. And we are still encouraging boaters to be aware of their speed near homes along the water in order to reduce the weight produced. Now, if you have any questions and you need to contact our office, you can call us at 407-665-5102 or you can visit us at prepareseminole.org. Once again, the flooding in Seminole County is improving day by day. That's um, if they get no more rain or at least significant rain in the near future. But right now, conditions are looking much, much better. Post that link below in the description box as well. To recap, once again, a 100-year event up in Flagstaff, Arizona. I've never seen it flood in Flagstaff, Arizona. That was quite a surprise to me as well and the local residents whose cars turned into submarines. And I'll post the link to that uh, video below in the description box. Never seen that before. Flooding in Flagstaff. They're at about 7,000 foot above sea level. Tsunami, an eerie little tsunami rolls through the islands just off the coast of Spain, catching these uh, people uh, by surprise. Watch the videos here from watchers.news. You can find the link to this also below in the description box. Thousands of fish turn up dead in a lake in Maricopa. This link too you can find below as well. Thanks for watching guys. Have a super day. Stay safe out there.